Welcome everyone. This is the uh, radical self-care session. I see uh, two participants already listed here. Welcome everyone. And uh, uh, as Suzanne prepared the uh, Susan and uh, uh, one more person, welcome. All right, so uh, Su Suzanne, you're welcome to begin your session. Okay. Welcome everybody. Um, I'm really, Excited to be here. It's a little nerve wracking. Uh, I've never done a virtual online event before, so this is kind of exciting. Uh, for those that don't know, my name is Suzanne McMurray and I am the founder of the Center for Conscious Caregiving. And our topic today is radical self-care coaching. And we are really excited. Um, for the past year, we've been playing with this new program and we have tweaked this. And so come 2021, we are planning to really roll out our new radical self-care coaching program. So I wanted to introduce it to everybody. Um, I know since the pandemic, self-care has started to actually come into the cultural vernacular. We are starting to talk about self-care, but I think people are still a little confused about exactly what it is and how we do it. And so what we want to put out there is that you don't have to do it alone. Our radical self-care coaches can help you. And we feel that our unique coaching program can help guide you toward a more caring relationship with yourself. And if you have a more caring relationship with yourself, then you're going to be empowered to form more deeply caring relationships with those around you. So let me tell you a little bit about first why you need radical self-care coaching, why it would be a really good idea for you. And I'm sure that most of these reasons are not going to be lost on you at all. Um, one of the first reasons is that radical self-care builds stress resilience. And uh, resilience is our ability to adapt or bounce back after severe and stressful and even traumatic circumstances. And I think 2020 has been an outstanding demonstration of severe, stressful, and even traumatic circumstances. So a lot of people right now are feeling a little overwhelmed by all the stress that they've been under. And so we have found that radical self-care really does help build stress resilience. Without resilience, we lose power, we lose our energy, and we can lose hope. We are exhausted, we become irritable. And the bottom line is we are not always bringing our best selves to the table. We're not bringing our best selves to our families, our friends, our workplace. So resilience is highly important. Um, and we believe our radical self-care can help with that. Another thing radical self-care does, which is important, is expands your self-awareness. Now, some of you may think, oh, I'm aware of myself. What are you talking about self-awareness? Um, in all of the research that I have done on caregiving, um, all of the treatments, all of the remedies, everything is always centered around expanding our self-awareness, getting to know ourselves better, um, whether it's burnout, passion fatigue, moral distress, all of these caregiver disorders have at its root um, in treating them and preventing them self-awareness. So exactly what is self-awareness? Self-awareness means that we have a pretty good idea about what our physical needs are, what our bodies telling us, what messages our bodies are giving us, and not only what the messages are, but how are we responding to those messages? So in other words, am I listening when my body tells me I'm hungry? And do I give it nutritious food or am I popping some fast food down my throat really fast? Am I listening when I'm thirsty? 
or am I popping down Red Bulls and uh, lattes? Do I listen when I'm tired? Do I actually take a nap? Or again, am I, am I taking Red Bulls and keeping myself awake? That's body awareness. It's starting to get to know what the messages and the sensations of our body are so that we can attend to those needs, so that we can care about our body's needs. In the mental emotional awareness, what are my thoughts? What are my beliefs? What are my intentions? Do I have a critical voice going on in my mind? Do I have um, this voice that's yelling at me, that's constantly telling me I'm not good enough, that I didn't do enough? Um, because if I have that critical voice, and a lot of us have that critical voice, that critical voice is perceived as yelling at us. And our body and our mind is going to respond in a fight or flight response. All right, so it's going to get activated every time we hear those critical thoughts. If we don't know, if we aren't aware of those critical thoughts, then we can't change them. What am I feeling? What emotions am I feeling? Do I have anger, sadness, fears? How do I express those emotions? Do I suppress all those emotions? And then they come percolating up and start coming out in inappropriate ways. Do I start yelling at the kids when really I'm angry at the boss? Am I yelling at the target checkout lady um, when she had absolutely nothing to do? We are in the middle of a huge, huge individual and collective grief process. We have had a lot of losses in 2020. How are we grieving? How are we going through and moving through the emotions of sadness and anger and acceptance? How are we moving through that? If we don't know our emotions, again, if we're not aware of them, then they have control of us instead of us having control of them. And then in the spirit, what do I value in my life? What gives my life meaning? How, how am I satisfied? and fulfilled. Our radical self-care coaches can help us, help you ask these questions and explore and find some of the answers to these questions. Because these are oftentimes questions that we would love to know the answers to, but we're just busy or distracted. Um, so that's why we are big proponents in having a coach to help us guide you through the process. Another reason we feel radical self-care is so important is that radical self-care is the first step in caring for others. Now, our culture really has not supported radical self-care. It has not supported self-care process. And in fact, it's only been in, in my knowing the last five years that you even hear the words self-care. Um, prior to that, it was, it was a foreign concept. Um, I worked in nursing for over 30, work, 30 years and I was never taught how to take care of myself. Um, our culture has always made caring outward centric. We're always taking care of our family. We're always taking care of our spouses. We're always taking care of um, the kids at school and our jobs, but taking care of ourselves is considered selfish. Um, so culturally, we have not been trained how to put ourselves first. And unfortunately, when we don't put ourselves first, we oftentimes, again, are not bringing our best selves to the table. You know, if we're becoming drained, if we're becoming exhausted, if we're becoming irritable, then that's what our family, friends, and community, that's the self that we're bringing to them, not our best self. And I don't think any of us wake up in the morning wanting to bring the irritable person in. We want to bring our best self. 
So radical self-care is really the first step for us to be really able and have the stamina and the wherewithal to take care of others. So now all that said, those are great reasons. We, I, I'm sure that you're all going, oh yeah, that's, I, I resonate with that. That's great. Um, radical self-care is a really good thing. Um, but there's always a but. I don't have time. I don't have money. I, I don't even know how. I'm taking care of kids that I'm homeschooling now on one computer and on my other computer, I've got my own job and maybe my spouse is on another computer with their job. How, when am I gonna manage? Um, and the whole idea sometimes of putting one more thing on our plate becomes extremely overwhelming. Not to mention it's another technical thing that we might have to learn and some of us might just be over the top with that. Those are all really valid resistances and obstacles, which is something that we actually um, go through as part of the radical self-care process. Um, but another way that I want to challenge you to look at this is another, what we're really saying is we don't have time to be our best selves. We don't have time or the money to be our best selves. Um, we don't know how to be our best selves. We don't know, we don't really want to change to be our best selves. If you think of it that way, I think it changes it because it's easy to say, I don't have time. But again, if we ask ourselves, are we all, are we bringing our best selves to our life? to our church, to our school, to our children. Um, I think all of us want to bring our best self. And, and I agree that we don't always know how to do that. So having radical self-care coaches that could help us, I think that's a game changer. So let me give you just a little overview of what radical self-care coaching looks like. Radical self-care coaching can be done um, with one-on-one -on -one individual sessions or in group coaching sessions, which I've done both. I love our group coaching sessions, if I were going to tell you what I'm partial to. Um, the program is offered over 10 to 12 weeks. And I say 10 to 12 weeks because we try to personalize it for the individual or the group so that they have the amount of time that they need to complete the program. And our sessions are usually two hours, about approximately two hours long. There are handouts that um, all participants are given each week and there are homework assignments that they, have to, um, that they have to do. And this is a coaching process. This is not me doing the work for anyone. This is me guiding you through a process. And I'll tell you about that with the next slide. Um, guiding you through a whole weekly process. So there is work for you to do. Um, this is also a process that can be personalized for businesses or organizations. So if you have a, have a staff or a department that you thought that this might be useful for, um, you could contact us and we would be more than um, happy to try to personalize something specific for what your group's needs are. And our next uh, group coaching class starts March 12th, 2021. We're very excited to be starting. Now, radical self-care coaching, as I've said, it guides you toward becoming your best self. Um, and one of the first, I'll go quickly through the steps of the process. First step is identifying the quality of life that you wish to improve. What this really means is, again, we're not here to fix problems. I know that you have 332 problems that you could probably write on your hand right now that you're trying to solve in your life. And that is not what we're doing. We are not helping you fix problems. What we are doing is helping you to identify how you can feel better. What can we change in your life 
in order for you to feel better? What quality of life do you want to improve so that you feel better, so that you feel more peaceful or calm or focused? What will make you feel better? Then we move to creating a vision for the future. Where do you see yourself? We do then get into identifying resistances and obstacles because we don't want to suppress them. We want to know what are the obstacles in your life that's going to keep you from being yourself? What's happening right now that's keeping you from being your best self? So that we can tackle that head on. So that we can create a plan that really incorporates and, and makes room for those obstacles and resistances. And then we actually create a self-care plan. You create a self-care plan that works for you, body, mind, and spirit, not just one, but all of you. Then we will help you choose appropriate self-care practices and we'll even teach you practices. Um, and then we're gonna evaluate, at the end of the process, we're going to evaluate, do you actually feel better? What's going on? What experiences have you had in the past 10 or 12 weeks that validates that maybe this is a process that's been helpful for you? We believe key elements for our radical self-care success, and as I said, we've been doing this for about a year, year and a half now, is your personal engagement, how engaged you are in the process, how willing you are to really start to go on that journey of finding your best self. And having a coach, having a mentor is really helpful. I already mentioned our culture doesn't buy into this. It, it has not fostered or supported this. That's just the way it was, but we're changing now. And so it's really helpful to have someone guiding the process because it's so easy to go back into the old habits. Having a coach helps to keep you on the road um, and not fall back into old habits. And we're also really excited because at the Center for Conscious Caregiving, all of our community, everyone that um, is part of our community has already been through this process. They are radical self-care practitioners and they use this process on a regular basis so they can speak to it and they can help support your process. Also our group classes, what we find is the community that forms during these classes is really helpful also. And it turns into its own form of support group, which is vital for any success. So in conclusion, when you practice ongoing radical self-care, your best caring self becomes the positive influence for those around you. And I think all of us, when we wake up in the morning, we want to be that positive influence for our children, for our friends, for our family. That's what we're really wanting to be. We want to feel that we've made a difference in our lives and in other people's lives. So the first step is taking care of ourselves, deeply taking care of ourselves. So as I've mentioned, the Center for Conscious Caregiving, our vision is creating a consciously caring world by inspiring, educating, and empowering individuals and groups to consciously care for themselves, others, and the community. If you have any questions, this is our contact information, and we also have a table here at the Expo, and we will be manning that table with radical self-care coaches, so you can ask any questions that you have about the process. And I'm not sure what our time is, but if we have time, I'm more than willing to take questions. Suzanne, thank you so much for your presentation. We do have time. So I welcome all the participants. You are welcome to write in your comments, questions in the QA box at the bottom. There's a chat as well, both work just like it's same as each other, same to each other. So you can use either one of them to uh, post your questions, comments to Suzanne, and um, we will see how, how that goes. 
Um, so Suzanne, uh, while we are waiting for the questions, um, the uh, how is the uh, your staff being trained, or what is the essence of you know radical self care? Uh, who are they? Who are the people who are providing this uh, se coaching sessions? Um, right now, our coaches, uh, Marissa Winters and I, are our um, consciously caring coaches. We are the radical self care coaches. But everyone who is associated with the center has already gone through a training session. So they actually have gone through and practice radical self-care. They've gone through this whole process. So we're um, not only coaches, but practitioners. So there's support because they are actually in the gym. Um, and then Marissa and I teach the coaching classes. Thank you, Suzanne. There's one question from the uh, uh, Sue. Uh, Susan Castiglia, are your radical self-care groups virtual now? Yes, and where right. is your center? Yep, we're all, we are, we, 2021, we've been practicing, just like George and Court's practicing right now, how to go virtual and building up our skills this year. So we are pretty virtual right now. And all of our radical self-care, whether it's one-on-one -on -one coaching or the group coaching, we do virtually. Zoom. We're big friends of Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> so if there's any other questions and people want to stop by, we are here at the expo and people can come to us and come talk to us specifically and get more details on the whole process. Well, thank you so much, Suzanne, for truly timely information. And I hear, I see Sue wrote down, love the word radical, self-care self so much more than how we, our culture use it to view it. Yeah, we are not good at taking care of ourselves. So we decided we needed uh, something to draw a little more attention to it. And right now, and we go in this when we teach the class, it's not enough just to go for a massage once in a while. Radical self-care is a whole mindset. It's a whole way of changing how you live. It's lifestyle changes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Suzanne, for your presentation. Welcome, and thank you, all the participants. We had a great session here. We'll see each other soon, Suzanne. Thank you very much. Take care, babe. Thanks. Bye.